Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Coventry in the West Midlands. This definitely highlights domestic violence and also mental health as well because a relationship breakdown can have a massive effect on anyone's mental health. Everybody's been there, everybody's been broken hearted and been in a bad relationship that hasn't ended how they want. But sadly, not everybody is able to contain the upset and the hurt. It sometimes comes with that as other people are. Taylor Doherty has been jailed today for 10 years for a violent rampage that he went on for several days that involved a handgun. Witnesses described in court that his rampage was terrifying and he was armed with a gun in a bid to track down his ex-girlfriend who had moved on with somebody else. In furious phone calls, Taylor Doherty said that he would stab his former partner and hold a gun to her head after becoming enraged that she had met somebody new. He turned up to her house and held a brick for the window, but when attempts to find her proved unsuccessful, he turned his attention to the person he assumed to be her new partner. On September the 21st last year, he attended the home address of innocent students in the Hillfields area of Coventry. He pointed the weapon at the head of a man, threatening to shoot him if he did not tell him where his ex was. A young woman who was at the scene was visibly shaken and in fear for her life and he fired a shot into the window that made it shatter. And none of these people in this house knew the woman that he was on about. It was a complete mistake that he'd even turned up there. Cop circulated the image of Doherty as wanted and with his distinctive one eye. Of course, this was getting shared a lot on social media. While he was on the run and trying to evade catcher, he dragged a member of the public from a car, held a gun to their head and drove off in the vehicle. He was arrested by a dog handler as he tried to run away from the scene of a burglary in the Toll Hill area of Coventry and he deliberately crashed into a police car. Doherty was identified in an ID parade and phone evidence linked him to the scene. His DNA was found on drinks bottles in the stolen car and blank firing rounds were found at an address that he'd been staying at. But even after the offences that he'd already committed, he continued to harass his ex-partner. In the light of the mounting evidence against him, Doherty had no choice but to plead guilty to two counts of possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence, breach of a non-molestation order, robbery and dangerous driving. On Monday, February the 10th this year, Doherty was jailed for 10 and a half years at Warwick Crown Court. Detective Chief Inspector Dave Spronson from the Public Protection Unit said, I'd like to thank the victims and the witnesses in this case that came forward and worked with us throughout the investigation. Together with CCTV forensic and phone evidence, Doherty had no other choice but to plead guilty. The sheer level of violence he used was shocking. I am pleased the sentence delivered sends a strong message to anyone that wants to use this type of violence. Kate Seal from the Crown Prosecution Service said the spree of offending over a four-day period must have been terrifying for each victim. I cannot begin to imagine how they feel or the after effects of Taylor Doherty's actions. The CPS presented a strong case against him as the person that was responsible for these offences and they urge anyone that is the victim of any domestic violence to come forward and seek help. And in the research for this video, I found older pictures of Taylor as well. It seems that from the time of 2015 up until 2020, at some point during that time, that's when he lost his eye. This was actually quite recent that he lost his eye. And of course, this is something a lot of people on social media have been pointing out. And one thing I'd definitely say is this must have an effect on your mental health. To have something so drastic happen to you, to change your image and the way you look and the way that people... Uh, approach you or deal with you I imagine is a massive thing and must have a massive effect on people mental health issues following the injury that he suffered I also found out that he's a father too as well to a young girl obviously we're not going to show that girl on social media but this is definitely something that 
is the consequences to his actions. It's going to be very difficult in the future when you're a violent offender to convince a court you should be able to see your child. It's very easy to keep away violent fathers from their children. So this is something to remember when you are angry in that time. If you have got a child and a girlfriend and you feel like lashing out, just remember that these consequences will follow you for the rest of your life. So I'm happy no one was seriously injured in this story. And let's hope that Taylor gets the help that he needs and deals with the issues that he's got in order to move on with his life for when he does come out because in the future he will come out of prison and it has to be more productive if he is a reformed character as opposed to just sticking in his ways as it is. So I really appreciate you joining me. I really want to hear what people's thoughts and opinions are on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.